Hi there, I'm Alex, the membership chair for the New Hampshire Society of Genealogists. Our new website is up and running, and we are transitioning membership activity online as of June 1. This is the first video in a five-part series. This video will explain what has changed and what steps you need to take next to enjoy all the online membership features. Some members have asked, why make the change? Well, going paper-free saves time and money, and it's also a cleaner way to manage your membership during the pandemic. It also helps the society expand membership opportunity to a broader audience. Moving membership activity online allows us to give you more for your dollar. By signing up and creating an online membership account, you will have access to member-only online content, including current and past newsletters, enhanced digital versions of the New Hampshire genealogical record, the ability to submit queries, and for meeting registrants, on-demand access to presentations. Some things won't change, for example, your individual or household membership will continue to run one year from the month that you joined. Online membership puts you in control of your account. You can renew your membership, change your plan, order a membership card, opt in for print copies of publications, and update your contact information all from the comfort of your home. So to get access to all these great features, you'll need to sign up on the website and once signed up, create an online membership account. Sign up is easy. Just watch video two. Remember, sign up just means you can log into the website and explore the public content. You'll need to complete step two, setting up your online membership account to access member-only content and or manage your membership plan. Step two, every member needs to create an online membership account. For individual and household members, your instructions for online account setup will depend on your renewal date. Life members have separate instructions. If your renewal occurs between June and December 2020, you will need to purchase an individual or household membership to renew. Watch video three to learn how to do this. If you renewed before June 1, 2020, you are a current member, but you still need to create an online membership account to access all that great member-only content. When you visit the membership section, you'll see you have your own special category called Already Paid Member. Just follow the simple instructions in video four to set up your account. Now, if you can't remember when you renewed, no worries, there's been a lot happening lately. Check your membership card first. If it isn't handy, ask yourself if you received a renewal reminder lately. Still not sure? I'm happy to look it up for you. Just send me an email. If you are a life member, you still need to create an online membership account to access all that member only content. When you visit the membership section, you'll see that special category called already paid member. Just follow the steps in video five to create your account. Website administrators will convert that account to a life membership once you set up the account online. For a quick recap, everyone needs to follow step one and step two. Step one, sign up. All members watch the second video and sign up on the website. Step two, create your online membership account. If you need to renew, watch video three. If you've already renewed, watch video four. Are you a life member? 
watch video five. Questions? Just email me and I'll get right back to you.